Dick, every team in the nation wanted to make it to the end of the road, but only these teams were good enough to make it to the Final Four. The championship game appearance is on the line between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the St. Mary's Gales. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Gales might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. First, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Second of all, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Thirdly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Looks at the three. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. For the bucket, he gets it to go. That basketball. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. He nails the bucket. How about an instant replay? Feed the low block. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Down inside, the power forward gets the pass. Number 20, pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. With the freebie. Hits that one. Defender is resilient, still applying pressure. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. He goes with a jump hook. They still don't score. On the outside, down in the low block, trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. Steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They'll work it around the arc. Pull up jumper from way out. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The shooting guard takes the pass. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of up in shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The shooting guard takes the feed. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Look at that spacing. He launches a three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. 
He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an FBC. On the outside. Gave it up. Number fifth draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. And we'll go to the free throw line. He buries it. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The small forward gets the ball. Tickles a twine. Up and inside. Number 20 is fired up right now emotionally. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. On the inside for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Big Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Great anticipation defensively. The point guard with the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Looking for a good shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's a double team. Stolen away. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. Should have basketball, help one another, communicate. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. It's a fast break possibility. They go into the low block, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Goes up for two and in and out. He puts it in with contact and all. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Perfectly executed. <laughs> on the outside. Three. Gets it to fall. What should they do here, Dick? I'm going to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> 
Good. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, right? The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. That's a nylon, MBN. That's a 9-0 run. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Good fake. He goes with a baby hook. He's good for another score. Heads in his face anytime now, boys. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. He dials long distance. This one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. Johnson comes up with it. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'll work it around the arc. Nice fake. As the fans chant. It really is something, isn't it? Great job of running the thunder into the screen, but a nice J. He shoots from the elbow. He gets the bucket. He shoots from long range. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. They work the perimeter. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. The Bulldogs have a three-point shooter spotting up. They've left him completely. Rejects it. There's the pick. Fast break opportunity here for the bucket. Oh, easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He shoots from downtown. He drains the shot. He'll take some pride on the defensive end. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. In and out. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He tries the three. Comes up empty. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Takes the pass in the paint. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The frustration right there. He pulls the trigger. The Gales to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Oh, what a strip, Red. For two, perfectly executed. Dribble gives it up, using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The high pick. On the top of the circle, scorches the net. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Shoots from outside. Buried it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially. But and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And off the mark. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. shot is not good. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores it off the glass. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the long-range bomb. Top of the circle. Number two drills the three. Stolen ball. From the baseline. It sticks. the fake he shoots from the baseline sinks it working it around the perimeter on the inside the ball comes back out from the post right there Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's see the replay on that one. On the 
left side. A high screen. Basket falls despite the contact. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The Gales are now in the bonus. Number 24 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. It's good. Gets the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for him saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for two. Easy one. Gave it up. Unloads. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. From three-point land. Way off target. He nails the shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon MBN. Tries for two. And in and out. Nice shot. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Intercepted from way outside. Off the mark with that shot. At the end of the first half, the Gales lead by 23. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look.
Dick, these kids have battled through a first half. They battled through an entire season and their conference tournaments, and now it's down to who's got some gas left in the tank. I'll tell you what, momentum's so important. You've got to try to go on a little spurt now because anybody who gets the lead is really putting the pressure on the club that would be behind. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He buries the shot. The Gales are ahead by 25. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. My goodness, seems like it's a track meet up there. No kidding. If they keep this pace up, who knows what the final score will be. Gave it up. In the paint. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Moving it around the perimeter. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. The power forward handles the pass. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There's the trap. He does the sweet fake shot. Double team now, bad angle. Ten seconds to get it off. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. For two, perfectly executed. So working around the arc. Leans in. Pro makes the finger roll. The Bulldogs trail by 25. The power forward handles the feed for the bucket. They still don't score. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? And a momentary look from three-point land. The shooting guard receives the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. He pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you gotta protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. Here they 
come with a double team to stop it. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Up and inside. The power forward receives the pass. No. Great play to take that to the basket. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He puts it in with contact and all. The Bulldogs are behind by 27. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Working it around the perimeter. Number two is whistled for the foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Got it. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Rims out. He puts it up. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Great defense. Gave it up. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Contact causes the shot to come off. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picked out of the air. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From downtown. He gets it to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He throws it up from downtown. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Looking for a good shot. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Fakes it. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. perimeter for two perfectly executed this is worth the second look Dickie's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you Work it around the arc. There he is, strips the ball loose. Oh, hey. On 
on the dribble and gives it up. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief, guys. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. For the bucket. In and out. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Kicks it out. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the shot off the baseline with the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot and the ball goes out of play high post flasher is open Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Here's a double team. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Ten on the shot clock. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from the top of the key. The Gales have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Stolen. 
Here they go into transition. The fake. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, blah, blah. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They work it around the perimeter. Combs in the paint. Tries for two. Gave it up. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. Up and inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. When he got the flush and took the foul. That was awesome with a cap delay. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Number 23 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. No doubt about it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Working it around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. From left of the circle. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. for a good shot takes the shot he gets the shot to fall the defender right on his hip and I think he's holding his ground dick he's doing a great job and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot looking for a good shot step out on that screener gave it up Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Defense, 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 On the dribble, defense, gives it up. Defense, 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 defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Kick it back outside. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. They are red hot from behind the Arctic. They're rolling in all cylinders right now. See what they set up there. Yeah. 
They move it into the front court. Number 20 is called for the foul. The ball goes out of play. High post player flashing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Makes the shot. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Drains the shot. The Gales have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Hits the first. Makes both of them. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills the long-range bomb. down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Think right now, got to focus defensively. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The land. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Shot clock is dead. They'll bring it up. From right in the circle, the Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. That was the difference in the game. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. 
the Gales never fails to impress as they did again tonight in this final four matchup. I'll tell you, Brad, I think it's almost impossible to beat this team the way they're playing right now. We're going to find out tomorrow when it's all on the line as they play for the solid gold trophy and the NCAA championship title. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.